up, Libra God? This is a twin flame reading, divine masculine, divine feminine, unification of duality, dualities, internal and external. It's a general reading. Of course, you know what to do if you would like a personal reading. Click the link in my description. I offer several services and products that will help you lead you to more light and more life and spiritual knowledge and spiritual awakening, spiritual enlightenment, and, you know, just leading you to live your best life. So this reading is very peculiar because this is a twin flame reading, unification of dualities. Um, but the overall energy of the reading is that of manifestation. So we have the Ace of Wands. Okay. We have the Ace of Wands. We have the Discovery card. And we have strategy. Strategy. Discovery. Two of Cups is right under that. Interesting. And the Ace of Wands. So this could be leading you to um, unification. To your external partner as well. So with the Ace of Wands, the strategy... In the discovery combination, this is attuning to you carrying a plan to completion. The discovery card is being willing to put in the work regardless of the outcome. Then you have Ace of Wands, which is like raw energy. It's like power, lightning, an explosion of energy. So it's basically putting all of your energy into something, whatever it is that you are trying to manifest right now, and carrying it to completion. But also having a strategy, a plan. So it's like, okay, this is what I'm going to do. This is how I'm going to do it. Put all of your energy into it and carry it to completion regardless of outcome. That's basically the key to manifestation, really. You know, it's more to it. But when you get to the point where your divine masculine needs to act, this is what you do. You set a plan. You set a strategy. You put all of your energy towards it. You work on it each and every day until it manifests. You carry it to completion regardless of what you think. Regardless of the outcome, you put in the work required for you to manifest your desires. So this is an interesting beginning to this reading, you know, for the overall energy. Um, because it's very specific. It's about someone manifesting. It's about someone um, who needs to put in the work to manifest the desires of their heart. And it does lead to the unification of your external partnership as well. But this is about you. This is about you and your ability to manifest the things that you like in your life, the things that you desire, and that will help you lead you to a better place, more light, more life, happiness, joy, fulfillment. Um, yeah, your best life. So I guess that's where it starts anyway. Not I guess, I know. It starts with you anyway. And once you master yourself, you master the partnership. So the first combination you have is the garden and the gate. It's the first card, 30. Then you have gratitude and toth cards, knight of swords and ace of swords. What I'm getting from this is by playing it safely, Brigade, you're keeping yourself from abundance. If you look at this card, right outside the gate, you see those white um, birds or what is that, a dove or butterflies? Anyway, this is symbolization of freedom and abundance. You have the ability to, to attract or to, it's available to you. Freedom and abundance is available to you. You've done the work. You've, you've mastered your feminine energy in order to make that available for you. But in order for you to get it, you have to step outside the gate. You have to use your masculine energy to get it again. Coupling with the strategy card and discovery and ace of wands, putting the energy into your gifts. But the gratitude is, again, self-mastery and using your gifts. So with the knight of swords and the gratitude card together, it's about using your mental and spiritual gifts in order to obtain this level of freedom that's available to you and the breakthrough that you also desire and that's available to you right now. So you deserve it. You deserve this breakthrough, but it's going to take for you to step outside of your comfort zone, to step outside of the gate, literally. You may be comfortable. It may be something going on in your life that's making you very comfortable where you are, but that's not where you're supposed to be. You're supposed to be at a whole entire different level of living. And in order to attune to that level of success that you are, that you were created to live, 
you have to step outside of your comfort zone and you also have to step outside of the gate put in the work the mental work the spiritual work use your gifts when i say spiritual work i mean use your gifts your mental and spiritual abilities in order to get this breakthrough and to liberate yourself Again, unification of dualities is about liberation. It's about freedom. It's about purpose and living the life that you were created to live. You know, it's about destiny. You have the destiny card, you know, coming up in this reading as well. But it's about destiny and putting yourself in a position to live the life that you were created to live for ultimate fulfillment and happiness. And it's a miracle in itself. To, and it's available to you. This miracle is available to you, but you just have to attune to your spiritual gifts and use them. Use your mind. And your spirit to come together, it's like, okay, these are my gifts. And this is how I can use it in the most effective way. And once you figure out how to use your gifts in the most effective and efficient way and attract your audience and, and help people use your service or whatever it is um, that you are gifted in, that breakthrough is right available to you. And freedom and abundance and prosperity is also right now, you know, available to you once you attune to that. The next pair you have, Libra, um, once you master that energy, once you master freedom in your personal life, then the door to romance is open. And this is clarified by the balance card and the Aeon Toad card, which is dub double tens and double completion at three, three is six. All of this is attuning to a twin flame relationship, um, dualities, divine masculine, divine feminine, divine you know, balance, of course, is your balance between your divine masculine and divine feminine energies when you have the scales on there, which is also attuning to unity of your twin plane partnership. But this is, I love this Aeon card because it is, of course, it's judgment of, you know, it's aligned with judgment, but it's also about Horus. And Horus represents the unification of dualities, the father and the mother. Horus represents, um, the God Horus represents the unification of dualities. What does it say here? Yeah, it says the God of the hero, Raha, which is a special name given to Horus, but it's also about Horus being the product of the divine masculine, and divine feminine energies. The right figure is um, the father and the left figure is the mother. But anyway, I don't have to get all into that. This just represents coming together and union of the dualities. You and your partner coming together. You and your divine partner coming together after you master your self-freedom. Then the door opens for you. So that's why I like these readings because um, that's why I like this unification of duality readings for your own energies. Because sometimes people strictly focus on the partnership, but... In order to get the door to romance open for your divine partnership, you have to master yourself. This is self-mastery. You have to master yourself in order for you to be blessed with your divine partner. So when you watch a reading or when I do a reading on the unification of dualities and I'm not talking about the divine partnership and I'm strictly talking about what you need to do in your life, not what you need to do. I'm not, you know, demanding you have free will, but giving you spiritual guidance, leading you to more life and, and balance in your own spiritual life and your own physical life. I'm doing that because it requires us, me, you, the rule is just the rule is, you know, it's law, it's order, it's justice. It's the way it is. You have to balance your life first in order to be even blessed at the level that you're connected to a divine partner. So, but anyway, Libra, in this reading, it's just basically saying once you get over that, then the door to romance is open and you and your divine partner comes together. Lastly, Libra, God, you have the financial constraints, 13 card. You have destiny. Look at this destiny card before I put it down. That's yin yang energy. You see the black and the white. This is about your partnership. And you have the interference, eight of swords, and you have the ten of cups. Completion. This is saying that financial problems or constraints or restrictions is getting in the way of your partnership. So this could be your energy or this could be your divine masculine, whoever you are, divine partner. But what, whoever it is, these financial constraints is interfering with completion. It's 
interfering with you coming together um, with your individual duality and with your partnership. But I really think this is about your partnership. So um, whoever this is, is so worried, is allowing the opposition to use financial constraints to keep you from completion, to keep you from fulfillment, to, to keep you from happiness and from coming together with your divine partner. It's stopping, you know, nobody can stop God's plans, but this is interfering with destiny and completion of your partnership. My advice to you or to your divine partner, whoever this may be for, if this is for you, my advice is just to relax. Maybe, again, they said, what is your strategy? Figure out a plan to get out of this, to get out of financial constraints or to get out of the gate, basically. Whatever it is that's keeping you in the gate, and clearly it, it seems like financial problems is keeping you in the gate, figure out a plan to get out of it. And I really understand. I really do. Um, but it's not, it's a small thing to a giant, whatever it is that you're going through or your divine partner is going through, it's a small thing to a giant. It's not going to keep you back. Nobody can stop God's plans, especially if you do not allow it. So now that you know that these financial constraints is interfering with their partnership and interfering with completion and fulfillment in the door to romance for you and your partner to come together, you can figure out a plan or a strategy to get out of it. You have gifts, and they're telling us already at the beginning of the reading that the key to liberation, the key to getting out of this, look at her neck. The key is literally on her neck. So you have the key within you to get out of this constraint, to get out of this whatever is holding you back. You have the key to it, and the key is in your gifts and mastering yourself. Once you master yourself and come together with your own dualities and use your brain and use your spiritual gifts for abundance, you'll get that breakthrough. This is you'll get the breakthrough you need to get out of this funk and to get out of this energy and to get out and to come together with your divine partner. What is my advice? Again, stop allowing financial constraints to interfere with your destiny, and you do that by mastering your first of all spirit said put all of the energy into um, completion of a project completion of whatever it is that you're doing in your life you, to complete you put a strategy together put a plan to it and put all of the energy into completing it see it through that's number one that spirit said secondly use in in this it's basically in the same advice but use your gifts use your brain and use your spiritual blessings and gifts Master yourself. So put your energy into a plan that aligns with your spiritual gifts in your brain to bring a breakthrough in your life. I'm sorry. I'm, I feel like I'm stuttering, but because it's so much. But basically, it's just saying use your gifts. Create a strategy based on you using your gifts. You know, create a strategy takes brain energy. So make, it, make sure that it's effective and efficient. Efficient. And put all of your energy into it, and it's going to create a breakthrough. You have one, one, 11. You, it's going to bring a spiritual breakthrough in your life, and it's going to bring you together with your divine partner. I hope this helps. Oh, man, this was kind of, it was a lot in one reading, but it was basically to the point you're being held back by financial constraints. You're, you're, um, you and your partner, or you and your partner. Um, but it's a way out, and the way out is you putting all the energy into your plan and your gifts in order to get the necessary breakthrough that you need. I love you. I wish you more light and more life. Um, if you want a private reading, you know what to do. Click the link in my description. I will be happy to help you in your business and your relationship, whatever you need, uh, whatever spiritual guidance you need, and this spirit gives me to lead you to more life and more life. Have a great day. I've manifested full payment of all 106,000 of my student loans. I only pay like $60 out of $106,000. I've manifested $30,000 twice. I've manifested connection to my divine partner. I've manifested the activation of my third eye and spiritual gifts. I've manifested the concept of all four of my books way before they created 
so many things I manifested and now I'm manifesting you. I'd like to teach you the manifestation process. I know the what behind manifestation, what's required, the process. I know how it's done. I know why it's done. I also know things that can hinder your manifestation process and I'd like to teach you. So click the link below today and start manifesting the desires of your heart tomorrow. Peace. This what God's gonna like.